Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for June. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for the week so that you can use it to your advantage to help you. So let's see what the cards want to tell us. Okay, let me get these in frame here. So we have the Lovers Major Arcana, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Lovers is, this is a beautiful card, and we see the Lovers in the water, and they're looking at each other eye to eye. We see the Angel above glowing and radiating um, warmth and light over the lovers and so this is a card where uh, it's about deep relationships it's about the possibility of something very significant transformative emotionally satisfying and enriching and so if this is a romantic relationship the ideas of um, uh, sensuality and passion and desire are swept into the lovers, as well as the, the uh, bonding that two people feel when they meet each other. Now, the lovers isn't always exclusive to just romantic partners. It could be the strongest of bonds between, uh, you know, uh, best friends, colleagues. It's just a, you know, it's a card of, of um, uh, the potential of what it really is to have that emotional counterpart within life, that other person that really makes you feel good, makes you feel happy, makes you feel alive. When we look at the lovers, often there's a uh, underlying current of what's going on, which is there could be decisions that have to be made. Is this a relationship that's going to be long-term? Is it gonna result in marriage? Is the marriage or my relationship going to last? So often we, we address questions when we see the lovers, but the lovers is about love and it's about giving and receiving love between two people in the most wonderful and intimate ways, that closeness that you have. So then next to the lovers, we have the five of wands. And we see the wands here, they're glowing. And this is quite a departure from Rider Waite. But this typically talks about healthy competition or a sense of conflict or petty arguments or people positioning for uh, power or one-upmanship. And so when we have, when I see this, it's that, that perhaps within the relationship that there have been petty arguments, that there have been misunderstandings, that somehow you're not working well together. And again, the Five of Wands, it's a minor card. It's a minor arcana card. So it's much more of a daily grind or a daily nuisance than it is a big idea that's um, very disruptive. It's something that you have to deal with. You have to learn to communicate. You have to learn to let go of ego. And you have to learn to negotiate and compromise when you're in a serious relationship like the lovers. And so here's this sense of, of perhaps conflict or challenges or something going on where you may not see eye to eye. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, and this is a lovely illustration. The sweet, youthful energy of this page, standing at attention, really, holding the pentacle. And he seeks knowledge. He seeks, uh, he's ready to do whatever you ask him to do, to learn, to learn how to get more pentacles, to learn how to build stability to learn how to engage and to use uh, his birthright of being 
practical and having grounded sense, grounded common sense. So the Page of Pentacles tells us that there's something that we want to know, something that we want to learn, something that we want to study, and that we're willing to put the hard work into it, and that we are um, ready to make a commitment perhaps in our studies to take us to the next level. With respect to the lovers here and the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles could suggest that you're, that you want to and are willing to learn more about your partner or your uh, best friend or whatever this relationship and that you're willing to do what it takes to make it work because this page of pentacles is loyal and devoted and single-minded in pursuit of getting things done correctly getting thing done getting things done well so if you apply this common sense treating each other with practicality in a relationship um, you know learning how to navigate the rough water sometimes that we all have in our relationships nothing is perfect and it's this sincere youthful energy which is um, you know I, I, I can I can learn I can do better I can become more experienced with this so it's a uh, interesting and, and again I love this I love this deck I think it's a beautiful beautiful deck let's take a look at the numerology we have six and five is eleven and eleven and one is twelve and that reduces to three and three is about group activities it's about expression and communication it also can be about uh, creativity so to close the reading I'm going to choose an oracle card we'll get a little more information Gates of Triumph, success expands in your life. So it's a beautiful illustration going down the path through the little doorway and the Gates of Triumph, success expands in your life. So this tells me to look for uh, good things happening to you more than likely because you've put in the work or you've put in the the time it takes to learn to understand to appreciate to put things into practice and success can very much apply to the relationship with the lovers that success as we define it and how you define it it could be uh, simple it could be more complicated but uh, that things are looking good. That's how I would leave it. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's a wonderful way to show support uh, for the readings that I do on the channel. Like, share, and comment. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.